We also continue to work the latest developments in a story we first brought you as breaking news last Thursday night. A serious crash on 295 North sent two people to the hospital and tied up traffic for hours. And on Friday, state police charged 57-year-old Robert Allen, who was allegedly driving drunk on 295 South on Thursday evening. He crossed the median onto 295 North and then hit a 27-year-old woman head on. Tonight we're hearing from that woman as she shares her positive perspective about all of this. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin sat down with her and joins us live from Burrowville and the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Caroline. Well, Shannon and Mike, it's been four days since that serious crash on 295 North. Tonight, Samantha Kennelly tells us that she's still in a lot of pain, but she's also feeling grateful. And to the man who hit her head on while driving the wrong way on a major highway, she hopes he finds peace. Like there's a family of three. Like we just celebrated 13 years in October. Samantha, Dave and Scarlett. The trio has grown and gained a lot this year, but almost lost it all in an instant. I think more than likely what everyone's saying is that like I never seen the car coming. I probably never did. Moments before this pickup truck burst into flames on Thursday night, it barreled south on 295 North, hitting Samantha Kennelly head on. I don't remember the accident. I, remember, I don't even remember the car coming to me or anything. Sam had just been promoted at work. She had just bought this brand new car to get to her job in Boston. Now mangled and destroyed, she credits it with saving her life. Alive men alive. How well, I didn't know until I got there. Sam's fiance, Dave Kinoy, was the first person police contacted after the crash. He got to the hospital to see his best friend awake and moving. She's okay. Like, somebody driving down the wrong side of a highway hit her, and she's okay. As is little Scarlett, in the car with Sam during the crash, missing for more than 17 hours, but found with the help of complete strangers. Yeah, we can go see mommy. Mommy's okay. For now, Sam is moving slower than usual. She has some whiplash, abdominal pain, and bruising, but she also has perspective, telling us she's too fortunate to be angry at the man who hit her. So I feel like for someone to have been that intoxicated at that point in the day, that they have to really be going through something emotional, like they have their own struggles, and so I kind of hope that, like, he figures out what that is and like comes to peace and like learns his lesson because at the end of the day like if we don't learn lessons from things like this and situations like this and like what were they good for in the first place that's quite the perspective on a terrifying ordeal Robert Allen is charged with DUI and driving to endanger he's due back in court in just a couple weeks reporting live in Burrowville tonight I'm Caroline Goggin Eyewitness News